Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we're gonna create a game which is um, which is something really interesting. I really am very much excited for this game because it's it's so cool. <laughs> uh, where uh, where you can uh, choose any sprite basically here. So your sprite would um, grab something and become bigger, right? So it's like a gannet. It behaves like a gannet. Okay, so we're get, we're creating. I'm I'm just um, renaming it as after it. So gannet game. Okay, and I'm gonna just change this as this. Let's see how to create it. Let's get backdrops and sprites without any delay. Let's get started. So let's get some sprites or first let's choose backdrop which which is related to underwater as I'm just gonna do something with fishes so just deleting this thing and getting a fish sprite let's click on animals So I think I'm gonna get a um, simple fish. Yeah, I I think I like this, but let me just see if if we have something um, cool. Then that I think I'm gonna use this shark because it actually suits um my need because it has costumes which which actually has this open uh open mouth and close uh, i would definitely use these things now and um i think this is quite very much big for me to start off with this pride so um i would say i'm just changing the size to 50 let yeah we'll start with 50 and uh, gradually it actually has to increase in size whenever it captures something okay and uh, the captured animal like the animals which are gonna come right so we'll just add some different different fishes and um, yeah we'll change the costumes whenever they are getting spawned okay so i'm gonna do that now so we'll need another sprite basically so let's choose let's choose it from animals again and and i'm gonna get this fish first and we can actually add another costumes if we want more okay so let's go to costumes and we already have four costumes here so yeah cool so uh let's change the size to 20. i would say this 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 actually suits yeah that's this is fine and this is good cool we actually have um add in, i mean already we have these costumes and if you want to add more you can actually choose a costume from animals again and yeah we can make it um show the other costumes as well like adding other types of fishes would would probably help so let's suppose i want to add um not really interested in the puffer fish thing but yeah i think i am interested in starfish i'm gonna just add this for now yeah that's that's it i am just interested in these costumes for now so we have both both the sprites ready and available right and we actually have to create multiple of them so i'm just going to decrease the size uh, by 15 percent maybe a little less also would work okay it's it's all up to you 
now so this is going to be our um, our hero of the game like ganet okay and this is the ganet and this is um, this sprite is basically like the, these are spread all over water now and yeah so let's see uh, we have to create multiple of them okay and we're going to start it off with um, with this player sprite right uh, mostly like fish sprite okay so so or let's start it with gannet i think i'm i'm pretty confused from where to start right now but yeah you can start it from anywhere anywhere possible right so yeah we however are gonna do it like step by step so it's 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 work so it works okay now from gannet uh basically the shark right when green flag collect so we actually are setting its size to 50 percent so set size to 50 percent okay and now now after setting its size to 50 percent fish so what exactly they do so when when flag collect so we actually are gonna repeat them again and again so they have to repeatedly form themselves so how would i do that we already know so it's just like uh, cloning right we have to clone them so i'm just going to use a repeat block with like repeating 20 times creating clone of myself so it will create clone of myself and then we'll broadcast start because uh, if you broadcast what what happens is um, your program actually knows what is going on and whenever something or uh, some other sprite receives start right then we can actually do something or we can trigger some action to happen right so that's that's the reason i'm broadcasting start here and and then um so when i receive clone so we have created it right not when i receive but when i start as a clone so what can be done is basically we can set some color effects if you want to or i would say um I would choose some random costume so switch costume to pick random operators pick random i would say the costume names like this is one this is gonna be two this is three this is four the last one would be five so we're gonna give the same range like one two five would actually work if you want to add more yes that absolutely works and then we also have to set their positions so i would say go to x y and that to pick random so go to x y let's get pick random for both x value and y value basically x y values would actually set the positions right so we we have to set it right from the left point till the right point right so that that just means that we on the x-axis we actually have minus 240 to 240 points so i would say minus 230 to 230 because let's not make it go outside the screen so yeah minus 230 to 230 and y value should be like minus 172 170 because actual values are like ma ma minus 180 to 180 you can give but I, I really don't want them to go outside the screen. So yeah, to keep it within. So I'm just giving this thing. And now, so we now have to make sure if this sprite is touching this sprite, right? Then something should happen, okay? So basically uh, we have to delete this thing because it is eaten up by the shark now, okay? So that's how we are we are gonna do it so when i like when flag clicked so i'm gonna check this forever so forever if conditional statement if touching so if touching shark right if touching shark so what are we gonna do if it is touching shark 
so basically i'm going to broadcast some message maybe broadcast eaten let's see if we could use it or uh, like i don't know if i'm going to use this or not but i'm just broadcasting it if if at all needed we can use this so broadcast eat and then we have to we have to hide it okay so you can just hide it whenever touching shark you can hide it right and you can just wait for 0.01 seconds or 0.1 seconds okay and delete the clone because we don't need it anymore right so yeah just a small delay uh, is is fine right wait, waiting 0.1 seconds is quite faster so it, it can actually wait right so this we're gonna do whenever uh, the sprite is touching shark right now now we broadcasted eat so now when i when this shark is receiving start right so when i receive start then we have to do something and then when i receive eat we will be doing something else so when i receive start we would want to do something like so we we want to do something forever so i'm just gonna place forever okay and what it does is point towards point towards mouse pointer and it has to move move some number of steps now not only pointing towards mouse pointer is enough but it also has to move right so then how would we want to move right you can give any number of steps i think i would say three steps for now let's see how does it work and and then we'll check uh, and also it just has to wait like so, some time it's like a very small delay i'm adding uh, just to make sure it just goes smoothly so 0 0.01 seconds i'm gonna add right so this is when i receive start for moving it okay to move your gannet uh, i'm just doing this trick right like pointing towards mouse pointer it starts moving towards my mouse pointer okay and it moves three steps and it just waits 0 0.01 seconds and again starts moving waits moves right so this is going to happen again and again right now this is when it receives start uh, start it has to do that then when i receive eat then also we have to do something so basically we have to increase its size we have to change size so i would say change size by and we have to decide upon this by how much percentage we are changing it right i just want to keep it uh, 0.2 percent right for now let's see how does this work uh let's see what happens and then we'll change the size again okay i hope so this should be working fine but let's see if if this is not doing the actual task we'll we'll see that okay and on shark not only this i also would want to do when green flag is clicked so we'll set size to 50 percent that that's there and forever it has to switch costumes like from one to two one to two okay so yeah i'm gonna do that switch costume to shark a then again switch costume so i'm gonna add a very small delay it, it's it's gonna do that quickly but 0 0.5 second delay i'm just adding then switch costume to shark b basically uh, we only like shark a and b isn't it yeah this this looks very much like um, tired and all and i'm not gonna use that because that doesn't suit the gannet thing and yeah waiting 0 0.5 seconds again uh basically like uh in a uniform manner it has to change from one costume to other one costume to other right and always i'm gonna just start it off with the uh, costume a when green flag is clicked right i think this is gonna work let's just quickly see what happens is it actually doing the task or no let's check so uh, 
uh, it is touching the sprite but but I don't see that the condition is working or not right this there's a small glitch it does the task but if touching shark then nothing is happening so i would say instead of keeping it here when i start as a clone then only i'll just uh, keep it so forever it has to work let's see if this works out because we have cloned it right and uh, Mm, it, it does not create a clone itself now shark is absolutely working fine like we wanted it to um there is some issue with this so i'm just gonna sh uh, do this let's say so when what shall be done now let's say there should be some trigger for this right so i'm just looking for that trigger I mean, no. why isn't this working? What happened to this save now? Um, this is not getting executed. like really uh there's some issue yes so basically when green flag is clicked we have to show it right because we are hiding it over here so that's the reason to show it again okay so with this they're gonna show up right and this this thing is not eating up any so to do that what am i doing is just just taking this forever when i when it starts as a clone then let's try to make it happen right so i'm just gonna see this now yeah it is actually eating away all the fish now so yeah this does the task cool cool isn't it yes it is being a gannet now and i don't see a good increase in the size or good amount of increase in the size basically and why is this not getting eaten up okay i think uh, that's that's not the sprite maybe only that thing is not getting eaten up but yeah the rest of the thing got um, gotten and yeah so this is about it we completed the entire board now so yeah this is this is about the thing and it absolutely looks so cool but uh, the only thing i am actually disappointed right now is with the size right so i'm going to increase by one percent each time and let's see how drastically it increases in size Hmm, not so effectively done right so i think i'm just giving five percent increase when it gets gets with ah oh, cool this actually does the task wow this looks good to see 
it is eating away and getting all the things and it looks cool woohoo <laughs> we got this yes we got this done right so this is about Gannet game and I really like it I hope you all enjoyed this creating this and uh, yeah this is all about it so if you have any questions or concerns you can do let me know in the comment section below I'm gonna meet you all in the next session and thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub I would want to see all your links in the comment section below whatever you have created and what is the concept you have used also along with the theme you have used you can do let me know about that in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video